exciting superstars and welcome to our 200th episode of Dress Up Mastery TV. So today for our 200th episode, I just wanted to sit down and maybe share with you guys a little bit of why I created Dressage Mastery TV and why I created the Dressage Mastery Academy. I wasn't born into a horsey family. I knew nothing about horses except they were pretty and I wanted to sit on their backs. And I um, didn't even start riding and um, I first leased a horse by the time when I was around 12. So I leased a horse for a little bit and then I was very lucky enough for my parents to buy me a beautiful Anglo Arab 15 hand chestnut thing. I shouldn't call him a thing, but um, yeah, I had him, and all I wanted to do was become a jumper. And I wanted to jump and jump and jump, and this pony slash, I guess it's called a Galloway, didn't like jumping so much, so I turned to dressage because that was the thing that he and I could kind of do. And I got hooked on this dressage thing. And I um, went, okay, um, and I actually wrote when I was 16, no, 17 years old, I said, I will go to the Sydney 2000 Olympics for dressage. Because I had a look and it didn't look that hard. I had to do a bit of skipping, I had to do a bit of trotting on the spot, and I thought, oh, it won't take me, you know, it'll take me a year to learn, um, you know, set goals. <laughs> I was a little bit off on that and um, realised as I worked towards my Sydney 2000 dream and then obviously a long way past and beyond that, that dressage was very complicated, very, um, uh, like, the, 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 it was like a thousand, not even a thousand, a million piece puzzle. And I had three pieces of this million piece puzzle and or I would put three pieces together. So I had like nine hundred and ninety nine 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 seven pieces left to put into this puzzle. And anyone who's done puzzles, I don't know if you like them or not. I'm not so patient with them and not so good with them because there's so many pieces. And how will you know where to put the pieces in? Um, my husband is actually really good at puzzles and he's explaining to me, well, you need to have a system. You need to put all the sky pieces in one spot. You need to put all the brick pieces in one piece. You've got a spot. You've got to put the grass pieces all in one spot. And then you're, you're working with smaller numbers to work out where the pieces go. And that's kind of what you do in dressage. You can get totally overwhelmed and totally, oh my God, there's 9 million or 9, 900,000 pieces to figure out where they go. But then you might just work on a little pocket and go, okay, well, I'm just going to work on rhythm and work out where the, where the little pieces go for rhythm. Well, I started doing dressage and I don't know about you, but I got very frustrated and I cried a lot. I'm actually quite a sensitive crying person. I just cry a lot. And um, I cried a lot on my dressage journey because I wanted it so badly. I wanted to improve. I wanted to do it right. I wanted to do it well and I didn't understand how. I don't know if you guys can resonate with that and, and, and feel that and go, yeah, yeah, I've been there. Whether you're learning to rise a trot, whether you're learning to do a shoulder in, whether you're learning to do one times, it's you don't know what you don't know and you can't feel what you've never felt before. So you're in this million piece maze trying to figure out where it all goes. So I was very frustrated and felt very alone and felt very confused about the whole thing. And of course I kept going and I eventually I did get to Grand Prix. But the journey was not an easy journey and it was not a happy journey as it could have been. So I am now committed and dedicated and obsessed with helping riders go on that journey wherever they want to get to, but make it fun, easy and um, enjoyable along the way. And most, e and most importantly, um, I I'm trying to turn the complex into the simple and trying to help you understand how and what and when exactly you should do something so you can execute it better. So that's why I created the Dressage Mastery TV, to give you guys access to those kinds of videos and to help you in your writing. And for those of you that want to take your learning a step further, I've created Dressage Mastery. So Dressage Mastery came about from realising there was a million piece puzzle and I had to help writers like I needed help to figure out where to put all these puzzle pieces. And like I said, Phil has this great strategy for when he does puzzles to put the the bits of sky in one pile and the bits of grass in one pile and the bits of brick in another. So I came up with, we all always have the German training scales. So that kind of creates what we're doing in our riding into six different piles. We have rhythm, then Luskalassenheit, contact, impulsion, straightness, collection. 
but that wasn't enough on its own. If you sit at home and you train, you're like, okay, I'm gonna work on rhythm and okay, I'm gonna work on contact or okay, I'm gonna work on straightness. If you are not the rider that you need to be to do that, it doesn't go so well. So in partnership to the German training scale, I had to create the rider success scale. So the rider success scale is partnered with the German training scale. So with rhythm, we need to get a, an independent, stable, still seat. Then we need to have the rider mindset so we can actually stay relaxed to keep our horse relaxed and stay centered and focused on what we need to do. Then we have contact. So if you want your horse's head to stay still and through, your hands need to be still and soft and what they need to be. Then we need to know how to use our legs and how to ride transitions correctly. Then we also need to learn, okay, straightness for a horse, but we also need to learn how to move the horse, how to yield the horse, how to leg yield, how to shoulder in, all these different exercises so we can create more suppleness and therefore straightness in the horse. And then the last one, everyone talks about collection and then every, every coach says to a rider, half halt, half halt. And I've found 99.9% .9 of riders don't know what half halt means, therefore can't execute a half halt correctly when the coach tells them to do that. So we have a whole section around what a half halt is and what it does and why do we do it and how do we do it because I feel that's really important. So come have a look at the insider into the academy. So here we also have, and then we have these bits of the puzzle where we have these 12 things and we have it in basics and then we have it in training level and then we have it in novice or first level and second level and third level all the way through until we get to FEI and Grand Prix. So it's very important that you, you, you don't start working on, um, let's say, mastery of second level if you haven't mastered basics. So you just need to make sure that you are exactly where I don't even know how to use our website, um, <laughs> that you know exactly um, what you're working on so you're focused and you're clear and therefore you can achieve the goals and the directives that you want to achieve and get to where you want to go. And then you can see once you're in basics, we have 12 segments to mastering basics. So you just work through. I can just show you what's in part one. I love all my gold bling. Not that that's important, um, but yeah, then we have rhythm and seat and we have a manual, we have um, checklists and troubleshooting guides and training plans. Then we've got the classroom and then we've got um, the introduction to rhythm and the introduction to seat. Then we show you on a couple of horses on Gretchen and Milo and then we have a 30 day no stirrup challenge and a summary. So. Um, oh, and you get a special, special seat secret undercover gift in um, part one of your Dressage Mastery Academy. So that is everything that's included um, in Dressage Mastery Academy. And like I said, I'm really, really proud that I could create a framework around it. Because when I was learning dressage, all I wanted was a framework. All I wanted was the steps. And I felt that the goalposts kept changing and what I was doing three months ago, therefore um, I wasn't doing three months from then. But of course I shouldn't because once you've mastered something at a particular level, you then grow and learn how to use that and it therefore evolves and changes. It's not making a cake. It's not, okay, today I use a cup of flour to make a chocolate cake. Um, and in two years, I use a cup of flour to make a chocolate cake. For chocolate cake, yes. For riding a horse, no because the horse gets stronger, the horse changes, you change, you're now working on different movements, the horse is getting better. Um, and I found that the, f the hardest, most frustrating part of dressage because I just wanted it to be a maths equation. I just wanted to do exactly the same thing every single time where when you're working with a living animal and when you're working with um, differences in strength and differences, it just doesn't work like that. So I've put a framework to something that is very hard to put a framework around and I'm very, very proud of that. So um, thank you for letting me share a little bit about Dressage Mastery and a little bit about um, why I created it because I'm very passionate about helping riders and um, I want riders to enjoy their riding and enjoy their mastery of dressage because that's something that I may have not done in my first journey, but it's something I definitely do now. And that's why we got into horses, I think, because we love them and we enjoy riding them and we want to smile and we want to have fun even while we're in the learning process which can be a little bit challenging we should still enjoy the learning process if we know why we're learning what we're learning and understand the learning so then we can learn grow master it and then move on
So thank you so much for watching Dressage Mastery TV. 200th episodes is really, really exciting for me and our team. And we're so grateful and thankful for all the support and all the love that you give our videos. And um, so lovely to hear when I get the emails or the comments when you say, this has really helped. This is amazing. Now I can do this. That's what I do it for. So thank you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you stay um, up to date with all our videos and get notified when we release a video. We do release Dressage Mastery TV every Tuesday. And and if you are interested in improving your dressage and taking your dressage results to the next level, you can check out dressagemastery.com. We have a free seat package for you. It's this massive seat package with videos and training plans and manuals and this huge resource that I normally sold and now I just give for free because I want to help. So check that out at dressagemastery.com and um, enjoy your riding, enjoy your dressage and I'll see you in our 201st episode.